that was one of the things that I disliked about working back at home in England, unfortunately, was that working in the National Health Service with kind of um, busy, busy caseloads, lack of being able to see clients regularly, you kind of see them once a month. Um, I started to dislike a bit. And then when I came over here, you, know, you can see people twice in a week if you want, or, you know, once a week, or, you know, you can see them a bit more intensely, and then they actually get better. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, and you kind of think, oh, this is kind of what, what you do it for, you know what I mean? And that, that's, that never gets old. <laughs> yeah, so in, in the UK, there is the NHS, right? And that's yep. the public system. Yep. And most clinics work through that system. Um, uh, yeah, it's interesting. So I, I haven't been, in, I, I moved from the UK nine or 10 years ago now, but when I was there, there was a National Health Service. Most physios would sort of go into the National Health Service first. Yeah. Uh, and then they might go into private practice afterwards. I was in the NHS for five years. I did a bit of private work on the side um, as well. Now it seems that a lot of private companies seem to be sort of, this is, uh, I might get corrected here when this goes live, but this is my outside <laughs> take on it. A lot of sort of private companies seem to be buying uh, NHS sort of contracts and, and winning NHS contracts to provide NHS services. Mm. Um, but there does seem to be, a, it, it is different to the sort of, private world over here with private health funds um you know regular treatment hands-on manual therapy get to see clients a little bit more regular um there does seem to be a slightly more um sort of hands-off sort of uh, exercise based approach yeah. but uh, i'm sure there's hundreds of fantastic private practices over there as well uh but there is a big sort of public setup over there whereas in australia if you twist your ankle or hurt your back you're probably not going to go to your GP. You're going to go straight to the physio. Mm -hmm. uh, and you'll see that sort of one day old ankle sprain, whereas there's a bit of a sort of uh, mentality back at home that people go to their GP. Uh, then yeah. you know, they might go back to a GP four weeks time uh, and then they'll go to physio. And by the time they get in front of the physio, this is back there, they're kind of chronic. They're like three months mm -hmm. on. Um, and then it's just a lot harder to get a result with them, unfortunately. Gotcha. Okay. But yeah, I mean, I, I I love the NHS. I think it's the best thing ever. But, um, <laughs> yeah. Like I say, uh, I haven't worked in it for a long time, uh, yeah. and uh, I certainly, from a treatment perspective, I prefer yeah. the sort of system over here. Yeah, and it's kind of a mix here. Like people can still go to the GP and come see us, or they can just come see us. So yeah, I think accessibility is better, which is what I quite like. 